prepare yourself guys uh, I guess you didn't see this one coming well I just took the kids to go see uh, the movie Boss Baby and if you do not know what it's about Boss Baby is sort of like a a movie about where babies come from really and the fact that they seem to come from heaven as Benjamin Button type of people these are like little cupids running around you know making you know love shares and and things like that like the stock market so anyway heaven is apparently full of uh, grown men immortals or, or what not angels and who are babies or in baby bodies or, or whatnot and their jobs are to make sure that there's enough love to go around uh, for every little thing I guess for dogs for kittens for babies and whatnot so there's a little problem on earth that seems that puppies are getting the majority of the love on earth so the boss baby here played by Alec Baldwin has to go to earth and you know take going to cover with a family and it doesn't really it, it, I don't think it really explained how uh, well, I don't know if he was born or not or if he was adopted I we kind of walked in a little late but he has to go down and infiltrate and um, and learn what's going on why is all the love going to the puppies and in the middle of it his older brother who is happy being the old, only child becomes suspicious noticing that this baby is in a suit all the time came born with the suit and I don't know why the parents didn't find that suspicious and discovers that this baby is an actual is a spy from heaven I must still assume I'm not really 100% clear on that there was a joke in there spoiler alert there was a little joke about whether or not uh, he said I'm coming from up above and the little brothers and the big brother said are you Jesus he's like yeah I'm the baby Jesus he's like no dude which was kind of disturbing at one moment because you know my, my family does attend church and my son uh, loves going to church so when that joke was popped off he thought they were serious he was like he's baby Jesus he looked at his mother and said is that baby Jesus and he's like I was like look I got the joke but you know that was kind of a moment where I was like man oh God, my son's he's four years old so I was like oh my goodness I mean six uh, yeah I probably should edit that out but I'm not <laughs> so it was just a weird moment unlike this weird one it's late at night guys I'm sorry but anyway long story short I was surprised on how much I liked the movie I was looking forward to watching it because it seemed funny it was like there has to be a reason why this is the number one movie in America why it beat Ghost in the Shell and I can see why it, it has some shocking you know, humor in there a lot of a lot of nudity a lot of blurred nudity that, that I, I didn't see coming and and the um, but the storyline it's not on the level of a like of a toy story or or a lion king or anything like that maybe there could be with this financial success maybe there could be a sequel but i don't see franchise coming from this i don't know my kids seem to enjoy it parents will have some things to enjoy as well it was a pretty good movie i'll rate it about i'll give it a you know for a good time i'll give it a four out of five you know what i'm not saying this is like the greatest uh, cartoon movie ever but it, it delivers as far as like for the family and everything you'll have fun with it if you want to go check it out tickets are still available check out right here t3 medias and you can go to fandango we are affiliated so go check that movie out or any other movie that you might want to see and uh, just have a good time at the movies until next time guys hit the like button hit the subscribe button let's keep talking peace